All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Crypto Crossword for Tuesday, June 25th, set today by Boatman. Let's see what Boatman has. HS2, missing both ends, has party members instigating plots. Well, I have no idea what HS2 is. Um... Is that going to be important or is it just, I mean, it might just be used for wordplay. Although the missing both ends, of course, it could be both ends of missing the M and the G. Has party members instigating plots? Well, maybe HS2 is the definition or instigating plots might be. I'm going to pause and look up HS2 and see what that is. Ah, okay. High Speed 2 is a high speed railway under construction in England between Hansacre in south southern Staffordshire in London. All right. So, high speed missing both ends. Oh, well, then maybe it's just speed, the middle word. No, I'm not getting it. How about company will sound decisive? I'm wondering if it could be something about a firm. If you're firm, you're decisive, maybe, and firm for company. But I suppose it's a homophone. It sounds like decisive, but it means... Of course, company can just be having people around you. Um, or it could be the name of a specific company. No, how about transport protest? Uh, I double definition, I suppose. Tram is the first one that comes to mind. Oh, rail. Oh, since we had HS2. You can rail against something. I think that's protesting. Let's try some downs. Uh, burning. Neat alcohol. Powers this stove. Ending in an A. It sounds like this stove is the definition. Burning. Yeah. There's an awful lot of words in this for a four-letter answer. Um, there is an aga stove. Um, but that's just A-G-A, -A, I think. Uh, is there another kind of stove? Can't think of one. How about peer brought up in case? Most amusing. So I think we're going to have a word for a peer. It's going to be reversed, brought up, inside a word for case. And it's going to mean most amusing. So I presume it will end in E-S-T. Peer could be sir, which is rise. Or lord. Oh, lord is droll. Uh, but then it's not inside. It's... Oh, um, so it is Lord reversed, and then in case is lest, as in lest we forget. I like that. Charged to have dissembled about zero emissions transport. Oh, so we do seem to have a lot of transport. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing, oh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of transport, so... Uh, I like having a themed crossword. I know some people don't, but I think it adds a little something to it. Um, dissembled is lied. So I wonder if charged is the definition. But then we have lied about a two, uh, two letters that stands for zero emissions transport. Oh, 
dissembled about might mean we reversed a uh, reverse lied and then you have d-i-e-l is there some yeah i think zero emissions transport might be a punning way or a funny way of defining something like a bicycle um no not seeing it let's do another few downs cowboy in west moved fast not complacent in one transporting goods free of duty well i wanted to be a smuggler would be one transporting goods free of duty although maybe it's a little too obvious but um and how would a cowboy in west moved fast and then oh yeah this is a head scratcher to be sure achieved goal of speed limits around center so here i'm thinking speed limits are the outer letters of speed so the s and the d and i think they're going to go around a word for center and it's going to mean achieved goal oh well of course uh with the euros on uh scored is the obvious and the core is the center all right one more transport a uh, reported transport passage this seems like a homophone of transport and it's going to mean passage um no nothing is coming to me let's go back to the crosses uh, largely in order, enlarge. Uh, there's a lot of large going on. 2-7, could it be an anagram of largely in with order telling us? I think the question mark is maybe saying it's not the usual way to indicate an anagram. Um and it's going to mean enlarge what would the two letter word be it's not going to be in um an no nope, don't see it transport to go too fast not quietly take time instead ah well we had um speed over in the downs but i'm thinking to go too fast is speed but uh, p which stands for quietly in music notation we remove that and we put a t for time instead and we get a steed which is i suppose a type of transport i think that may be <laughs> going a little too far trying to bring it within the theme um but uh I don't know others may disagree shockingly bold u-l-e-z militants say they'll do this to enforcement cameras yeah goodness well i have no idea what u-l-e-z is uh, let me pause and look that up Ah, uh, yes, so I had heard that London had instituted charges for cars um, entering the ultra-low emission zone. So something to do with that, but of course, I think we're just going to be using these letters. Ah, uh, but that's, um, of course, ties in with the enforcement cameras. Now, shockingly makes me think we're going to anagram at least bold or maybe b for bold plus u l e z and then um militants say perhaps is the final three letters 
and do this to enforcement cameras. Well, maybe it's militants say they'll do this to enforcement cameras. Um, but what would an anagram of bold U-L-E-Z be? We've got two L's. And what do we do with a Z? Yeah, let's see. I think I need another letter or two. Broken Transport Systems Core. Well, funny we get core there since it was part of the wordplay. Um, could it be hidden in the core of transport systems? Are the inner letters of those two words? No, don't see it. It's going to end in T. No, nope. uh, surface of cycle path. No, uh, where vehicle hits edge of pothole complain. So is the edge of pothole going to be, ah, yes, it is the first letter of pothole. The vehicle, of course, is a car with the P is carp, meaning to complain. All right, boatman abandons rail service. Outside, small change with no parking for transport. All right, so boatman, I think, is I or me, referring to himself. And is that just going to abandon rail? So maybe it's just R-A-L. Service could be mass. Outside, small is S. Change, um, I don't know what that is. But with no parking makes me think there's a P somewhere, probably in the change. Um, and therefore we end up with something for transport which of course could be a verb or it could be a type of transport no intelligent to go back to public transport ah so intelligent could be smart and we reverse that we get the trams that I had thought of earlier. Uh, let's do some more downs. All right, one relays messages by mouth, initially enjoying trust while affecting eventual nemesis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. What is this? Eventual nemesis. No, is that the definition? Or one who relays messages by mouth. Um, initially enjoying might simply be the E. Uh, or, yeah, and then trust. No, don't see that. Reject Northern support for branch line. So I think reject is possibly meaning we're going to reverse. And if Northern is the first here, it's going to be the last letter of the word. So I think it's going to be N and then support, and then we're going to get a branch line. Of course, trying to tie it into the transport theme, but I wonder if it could be something, <laughs> excuse me, to do with trees. Ah, no, it, it is actually a, a branch line, I suppose, in a railway could be a spur. 
And so reject is actually the definition. So uh, northern does come first, but then we have to say nor northern is the support for branch lines, so the spur comes first. Yeah, it's a complicated phraseology. All right, these are the lowest limits of zone covering roads, banning a diesel's lead. I think it's going to be maybe roads banning the first letter of a diesel, a diesel's lead. Lowest limits of zone. Yeah, hmm. So what's the definition? Maybe these are the lowest. But I'm not seeing it. Two eggs, uh, one taken by terrible vermin. It eats everything. Well, I think um, if we see the definition as it eats everything, then omnivore comes to mind, which is an anagram of vermin. But there are two eggs, um, which the letter O looks like an egg, and one of them is taken in by that anagram of vermin. All right, one more down. Company American to be sick about empty transport it is, it's not as long as a train. Um, so I'm thinking company is just CO, American is that A, and then we have to be sick goes about empty transport. Well, empty, if you empty out the letters of transport, you're left with a double T. It's not as long as a train. Uh, yeah, I think it's something. Ah, uh, uh, I think it's a coattail. Uh, there's our two T's and then ale, I think, is to be sick. And so both the COA and the ale go about or around the TT. I suppose it's not as long as a train on a dress. I think that may be. I know this is the phrase riding somebody's coattails, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure how the definition works, but I'm happy with that. All right, how about um, writer, not exactly sincere, about very right wing origin. Now it could be the name of a writer, but um, not exactly. How do, I'm not exactly sure how that works in wordplay. Does it mean you don't complete a word? Uh, so maybe S-I-N-C-E-R, which goes about or around very, which I think is going to be that V, and then right wing, or oh, right wing origin. Oh, I wonder if it could be around right and then the wing origin. Well, that would be a very unusual uh, three letters in a row, V, R, W, yeah, that, that ain't it. Maybe it's just right-wing origin is simply an R. Can I think of a writer with a V, R? That seems unusual. No, need some more letters for that one. Uh, return transport. Oh, um, a double definition, I suppose. 
Unless it's a palindrome, but I don't think so. Toot. A return. No, and transport, we've already had trams, so they're not going to have tram. Again, it could be the verb transport, but... Um, no, not seeing it. Uh, transport charge, much involved in type of road rage, okay. Uh, maybe it's charge much involved, like much of the word charge and that's involved or anagrammed. Uh, nope. Conflict, including about transport of supplies. Uh, I wonder if it could be a word for conflict that includes maybe RE for about, or CA, circa, for about. And it's going to mean transport of supplies. Nope. All right. A ferry scuttled to become lighter. I'm thinking it's going to be an anagram of a ferry. Now, to become lighter, is it going to end in ER? Um, frayer? That isn't lighter, I think. Um, what else could it be? Um, let me put in the ER and try the anagram helper. Yeah. Air fryer. Um, Yeah, so maybe it doesn't end in ER. Uh, I think a lighter is a type of boat. And I think that's what the surface is referring to. I mean, it would also become maybe lighter in weight, but I think it's there is a boat that works in harbors. Is there called a lighter? Am I uh, misremembering that? Uh, one must approach a bull in lust or eroticism. Uh, so I think it's a hidden clue in lust or eroticism with the, that T. Torero. Now, is that the name of the bullfighter? Uh, let me pause and check that. Yes, it is another word for a matador are a member of the supporting team. Okay, boatman's transports popular. Ooh, popular is often in. So is it something that means a boatman? Um, sometimes we see the setters use their uh, pseudonyms to trip us up and they actually mean it literally and not as I or me or something like that. But maybe it is just me plus something for a transport and it means popular. Yeah, don't, don't see it. Finally, gridlock to diminish Will changes in complexion come from this? Ooh. Um, I'm wondering if finally gridlock is the K. Um, yeah, I like that because I'm looking then over at 22 return transport. I'm thinking the return you get maybe on some investment is your take 
And transport, meaning to carry, could be to take something somewhere. I do like that. So then K plus a three-letter word for diminish. And will changes in complexion come from this? Ooh, I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of something like sunburn, uh, tan, to diminish. Yeah, let me look up synonyms of diminish. No, I'm not finding any good um, diminish words. Uh, but then I'm wondering if it could be diminish will, which can be diminished to double L. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure now about take, so I'm going to uh, check this. Oh, it is correct. All right. Uh, I do want to go back to 25, conflict. Uh, so yeah, if it is re for about, then ooh, I'm thinking... Um, Fight would be conflict, and transport of supplies is freight. Oh, but this now is uh, K something H something. What the heck is that? Well, changes in complexion come from this. I don't know, is it a scientific word? I think I'm going to have to go to wordplays.com and um, check what they have for K something, H something. I'm just not seeing that. Ah, it's a, uh, a German word, I think, coal, which is some kind of makeup. I don't know if it's a brand name or a generic term. Um, and so it's actually the final letters of, I think I'd even looked, scanned over this and thought, oh, K-O-H, and I gave up at that point, but K-O-H-L. And so the definition is changes in complexion come from this question mark. Now oh, that's a tricky word right there. Now our writer ends in... R, so very about very right wing. Yeah, I'm not um, sure exactly what this is going to be. I still want it to be a writer, but I'm not seeing one. All right, how about our surface of cycle path? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Is it going to be a surface? Cycle can mean in wordplay cycling one letter or all the letters around, but uh, don't see that. Ooh, broken. A uh, bust. Ah, yes. So transport is bus and the systems middle letter is t all right okay this was our high speed two party members maybe it's instigating plots so something like conspiring um well of course it could also be a writer perhaps um No, company will sound decisive. No. No. Yeah, I really don't have a whole lot of anything. These are the lowest limits of zone covering roads. Banning a diesel's lead. Yeah, I'm wondering if it 
It could be Rhodes banning both the A and the D, and so it's R O S. And then, oh, of course, these are the lowest are zeros. Uh, I think I would have spelt it Z E R O E S, but let me double check that. Well, I think both are acceptable, but uh, I think spelling it with an E is uh, in the minority. In both British and American spelling, slightly more common to see in America. And then the funny thing is the older citation for zeros in the British National Corpus is from 1978. So, um, yeah, it seems I'd need to get with the program and just spell it as E-R-O-S. So the limits of zone are the Z and the E. And then that whole bit about Rhodes taking out the A and the D in a convoluted way. All right, this does look like it could be... Yeah, so maybe it's just with an American spelling with a Z. Let's use the anagram helper. I'm still not 100% sure these are the right letters, but... Oh, bulldoze. Ah, all right. So it's not uh, an American spelling. It's good old British English spelling. Uh, there we go. Oh. I hadn't heard of this, but I suppose some people really don't like those cameras. So now one relays messages by mouth, initially enjoying trust while affecting eventual nemesis. Hmm. Uh, no brainer fits, but it doesn't mean either of these things. One relays messages by mouth. We had lip reader or rip lip reading recently. Um, yeah, I don't see it. Uh, what else did bulldoze do for us? It gave us an L here. Cowboy. I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, I thought smuggler, which still fits. Let me put it in and see if I can get the word play. Cowboy in West, moved fast, not complacent. Oh, I wonder if, well, complacent might be smug but then how do we why but it says not complacent um i'm gonna go ahead and check this no but we do have the g-l-e-r one transporting goods free of duty i'm very suspicious of that phrase that oh they want us to think tax-free but um no, it's Cowboy in West. So there may be a short word, maybe West, and then a word for moved fast, not complacent. Okay. No, I think I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one since I've been given the last four letters by guessing wrong. Uh, Wrangler. Oh, so it's a cowboy is the, uh, my goodness. All right. Uh, West is W. Move fast is ran. Ah, uh, and so it was, I had to think of smuggler and then, but say not with the smug. Ah, of course I should have worked that out at least when the G-L-E-R were left. That's a very tricky one. All right, this gives us something R or something C for our company. Will sound decisive. Uh, no, I think I'm going to have to use word plays 
Facebook.com for this. I do want to finish so I can watch the football. No, nothing is coming to me um, on that and nothing useful at wordplays.com. Too many options. Um, precise, but not really for either meaning. Uh, maybe it was the decisive precise made me think of it. Um, but are largely in order. Let's try the anagram helper and see if it could be an anagram of largely in and meaning in large. Um, maybe an ly ending. No, but again, I have the problem of what is the first two-letter word, because I don't think it's going to be in. And no. No, not saying it. I think I'm going to give up on this one. In general. Okay. Oh my god, that's a, ooh. so in is in, and then you have to order enlarge. So I read it completely wrong, and the definition is largely. Yeah, I do. Mm, yeah, just having the word right there. You know, we often see obviously letters in a clue appear just as they appear in the clue itself, but. To have the entire word just seems a little wrong, but anyway, sour grapes on my part, I'm sure. Oh, so One Relay's Messages, one of my favorite bands, the Go-Betweens. Uh, so a Go-Between. Uh, so One Relay's Messages, the definition, the mouth is the gob. Initially enjoying is the E. Oh, and then it's the initial letters of the last six words, enjoying trust while affecting eventual nemesis. All right. How about surface of cycle path? Well, I can think outer could mean surface, the outer skin, the surface, um, but I don't get cycle Oh, path is root, and so you do cycle it. You move the R from the front to the end. Okay, tricky. Now, charged to have dissembled uh, about zero emissions transport. Well, I do think it is going to be then lied somehow. And then is it going to... Yeah, I'm not sure if it's still if it's going to be charged or zero emissions transport. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one too. Levied. Oh, LEV is a low emissions Oh, no, EV. Well, I think there is an LEV, but EV, of course, is an electric vehicle. Uh, yes, and lied around it, and you get charged or levied, uh, which I think is in keeping with the theme, and levy a, a charge for the low emission zone. All right, still don't have that. Don't have anything more on this one. Now, our reported transport passage ends in an L. Oh, I think it's going to be a hall. Could be a passage in a house, which sounds like H-A-U-L. I'll check that, but it is right. All right, this should now reduce the number of options at wordplays.com. Ah, okay. Well, first of all, the definition is decisive in the sense of something 
that it pr proves to make the difference. And it's a homophone of company will. Well, the company could be a crew. Will can also be shall. And you get crucial. All right. Uh, just the left hand side left. Oh, who is this? Grosvenor? Is there a writer? Not exactly sincere. I'm just going to put it in and uh, we'll see if it's right. No. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I'm going to reveal it. Scrivener, ah, so a writer in uh, general. Not exactly sincere. Oh, it's an anagram of sincere about very and the extra R then at the end. Oh, so I think not exactly is telling us to anagram. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that before. All right. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is very disappointing. Let's try Boatman, Abandons Rail, Service, Outside, small change, with no parking for transport. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use word plays for this one. Well, I see entrance fits, but I think if it's right, it's entrance. To transport somebody's imagination, I think, could be to entrance. But I don't follow the word play at all. Uh, let's first of all check if it's right. It is right. Small change with no parking. Ah, so on the outside you have E-N-C-E, -E, but it's pence is small change without the P. And then inside it's a train is a rail service, but the Boatman, I, has abandoned it. All right, that's tricky in several ways because you have to think of the right word for rail service. Okay, it's pretty obvious. You have to think of the right small change. And then you have to, above all, get the right definition of transport. Okay, uh, oh, well, let's actually do 19 down. Oh, Oh, rarify. Ah, my goodness. I was on the... Oh, uh, again, my spelling is letting me down, but I think it's rarify to become lighter. It is correct. All right. Now our transport charge much involved in type of road rage. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to use word plays for this. I wonder if um, it could be warfare. As soon as I saw that, I thought, of course, a fare is a transport charge. But I think it's maybe some other kind of fare. So I think because I think charge much is saying maybe the first three letters of fare. And it's going to be involved or put inside a type of a road. Um, and we get rage, I think might be the definition. Well, let's try warfare. Yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and reveal it. Airfare, a transport charge. Oh my goodness. So I think that's the definition. Much involved in type of road rage. I don't get that wordplay, so we're going to have to check. Um, yeah, that's uh, very tricky. Okay, um, now our boatman's transports 
popular. Yeah, I'm thinking it does end in IN. But what is a boatman? Is it a word for a sailor? I don't know if skin is. Let's check it. No. All right, let's reveal it. Oh my goodness, a ship. Boat. So maybe the definition is boatman's transports is a ship. But what is popular meaning ship? I know there is the, in current slang, the verb ship, which I think is short for worship. When fans really love their idol, they ship them. But um, other than that, I'm not sure what that's all about. All right, just these two in the top left. Burning neat alcohol powers this stove. Yeah, I, th I think it's going to be an English stove type. Uh, let's reveal it. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's um, nothing to do. I don't think. Well, is it the volcano? Or is there an... Oh, there might actually be an Etna stove. A vague memory that it's used maybe for camping. And I think the wordplay is burning neat. It's an anagram of neat. So we will check that one. And now our high speed two missing both ends has party members. I never thought much about what party members might be instigating plots. Now I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one. This is one of my worst performances. Um, by my count, I think there were five, maybe six that I had to reveal. Um, so how is this working? Uh, plots are stories. Yeah, I think HS2 missing both ends is telling us just to use the S. And then just party members are Tories. Oh my goodness. So straightforward, but a very... Um, uh, deliberately misleading surface that uh, threw me off the scent. All right, very uh, poor showing by me today, but let's go over to 15 squared to finish this one off. Today's blog is by Lunapic. When I saw who today's compiler was, I was glad I woke up an hour before my alarm, as I found boatmen more challenging than the norm. Ooh. Had completed three of his puzzles at the weekend, so there's more on his wavelength. Oh, and finished before my alarm rang. Well done to Lunapic. Um, anyway, so I've just a few written down that I wasn't sure of. I think I eventually got the wordplay. Um... But for the across is 24, uh, much is far, which is involved in A is a type of road, plus ire is rage. Oh my goodness, tricky, tricky. Ah uh, yeah, Anetna, named after the volcano, is a vessel that holds a saucer in which alcohol is burned to produce heat. Yeah, I had not heard of that. And uh, then I think I followed all of the rest. Um, okay, so it was very, very tough. I did enjoy it. There were a few that were easy, but um, so many I just did not get today. Anyway, hopefully things will turn around for tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.